Hi, my name is Tony and I'm with Clean Browsing. Today, we're going to talk about Clean Browsing and Windows devices. If you're running the Windows device, you have the option to use our Clean Browsing app. To access that, go to Get Help. On Get Help, click on the Windows button, and here you will have an installation guide for Windows. To help streamline this process, we have a video, which we're going through now. Download the 64-bit installer via the download button on this guide. Here, it'll download an executable to your downloads folder, run the executable like you would with any other installer, leave all the default configurations. Once, it's all, once it is installed, it will open the app that will look like this. From here, if you want to use the free filters, you have the option for the family and the adult right on the homepage panel of the app, or you can bind it to your paid account. Since I'm a paid customer, I'm going to click on activate. On the activation, it's going to ask you for a code. Simply navigate to your dashboard Choose the profile you want. In this instance, I'm going to use the Windows app DNS test profile. Highlight the code, copy it, and paste it into the app. Once you hit save, your device will be set. A simple test is to open another tab and do a quick check. You can do a, a fake domain, ts.7.betexample.com, and let's see what happens. Here we get the block page that I expect. I might go to my activity panel and I just look up badexample.com. You'll see the TS7 is there and it was just made, the connection was just made today. Perfect. Now let's look at some of the new features that are coming with the new version of the app. We've addressed two big requests from users. One is the ability to prevent a user from uninstalling the app. So now we have the AUP or the application uninstall protection feature. If you enable this feature and you go to add remove, you will no longer be able to uninstall the app, even if you are the administrator. If you want to prevent the user from making network changes, you want to block the internet options feature. So go ahead and enable that. And if you navigate to control panel, you'll notice that the option is no longer there. And if you try to navigate through the network interface properties, the same will apply. Finally, to ensure that users can't make any changes, you want to change and set a password. So here, we'll just make a new password for this app. And if the user tries to disable this feature, they will be requested for the password with either feature. And if they try to disable the filter, the same will occur. So we really hope you enjoy this new app and we hope to introduce these new features in some of our other OS types as well. Thank you very much.